Welcome to Knock Pro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I am Josh. And today we are here for the sad and final review of issue 193 of The Walking Dead. Yeah, so as you guys know, this is the end. It is ending. We tried to stay offline, but when you open up Twitter and Facebook and the very first thing in your uh, menu, or not, I wouldn't say menu, in your feed is The Walking Dead is ending. It's pretty much done for you. So. Yeah, you know, I don't think there was any way of not finding out at least the spoiled of at the least, series ending. Right, um, yeah. I mean, it was even on the front page of Yahoo. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it was it, everywhere. It, it was everywhere. Um, yeah. it, even, even news outlets that typically will not pick up material like this were reporting it. Um, mm-hmm. I think I saw... Uh, Forbes or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, an author for Forbes, take it. Yeah. Like, it's just insane, <laughs> like, you know. So um, what we like to do here at Knock Pro Nation, when a series comes to an end, we like to give it a blind read for the final issue. So we have not, we've stayed off of social media. We have not read any spoilers other than the fact that we know the series is ending. But we have no idea what's happening in this issue. Um, so we're going to give it a full read for you, the the uh, viewers, and you're going to get to see our reaction of uh, our favorite comic book series coming to an end. Yeah, and before we get into it, I mean, let you guys know that we basically started this channel because um, we were, you know, he started reading The Walking Dead before I did. I smashed through it, and we were like, hey, let's start a channel. Let's, let's get this going. And our very first review of The Walking Dead was actually a sad review. It was actually Walking Dead 167. Yeah. Which was Andrew's death. Yeah. And I mean, isn't it crazy? Insane. It feels like we've been reviewing it longer than that, but that's because we've been reading it actually before we started the channel. So, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we just decided to start the channel because we loved comics and we wanted to share that love with, with you, the viewer. And then it exploded into, you know, let's review movies, let's review, let's do reactions. It went let's, everywhere. It, everywhere, yeah. <laughs> so, and hey, I'm glad it didn't go everywhere because obviously as a channel, we need to expand and we need to do different things because. Because look, yep. things like this happen where we end a series that, yeah, you know, was a flagship for our channel. So yeah, so I mean, we'll we'll get into the letter that's uh, in here. The only thing I know is that yes, it ended abruptly. Um, from what I've heard, it's it's Robert Kirkman's decision. He wanted to end it, kind of in a way like he didn't want it to drag out and not live up to his expectations. He wanted to end it. I mean, he already knew the ending. He wanted to end it the way that he wanted to. We know that they released two other covers, 194 and 195, to come out. And, of course, those will never be released. But I'm wondering if though anything part of those stories are in here. He just mashed it all together and was like, we're done. So um, this is already sold out everywhere. They've rushed it back to print. And uh, probably because it was the comic shops, of course, didn't know it was ending. And that's what Robert Kirkman wanted. And it's going to sell out. And now people have to wait for the second printing. Yeah, it was probably a... a- <laughs> An average size print, anyway. Oh yeah. And when I say average size for The Walking Dead, that's actually a huge print, um, and and it sold out fairly quickly. Yeah. So we're ready to get into this. If you haven't read it, follow along with us. If you already have, then enjoy watching us. Enjoy hearing it again through our voices and eyes and ears and yeah. reactions. So how and we're gonna do this is we're gonna go page <laughs> by page, not character by character. Yeah. Um, so I'll take a page, he'll go to a page, and 73 pages later, we will do a page-by-page page read of the final letter from Robert Kirk. Wow. Let's do this. For the final time, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> All right. So, we get that pivotal scene of... Um, as always, it's uh, I love Charlie Atler's work here. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it looks like a, uh, a walker. Well, it's not Negan or Carl. <laughs> no. It's a walker. Look at it. Interesting that it's in a business suit. Yeah, he was having a nice day, and the apocalypse went to crap, and uh, boom. Well, now he doesn't have a head. Top yeah, of his head. and uh, that is Michonne's sword. That is Michonne's sword, but... Oh my god, that's Carl! <laughs> 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 time jump! Uh, pretty serious time jump. Yeah, he's probably, I would say probably, what, maybe in his... 30s you would say maybe probably in his 30s yeah yeah i read a little bit ahead and that's amazing what's about to happen yeah so you want to start that i I saw something yeah i did you go ahead you read the first one right here which is just carl carl (laughs) yeah (laughs) all right i already killed it sophia it's dead i don't get why you couldn't have used a gun i don't like you being so close to one after all these years uh, what if there were more we didn't see? 
Uh, here? That's not possible. Not anymore. Wait, where's Andrea? Did she see it? She's not even up yet. Don't worry. You know she doesn't wake up on a school day unless I drag her out of bed. Which, he's got ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he's got a daughter, but Sophia is his wife. Or yeah. They got together. Yeah. That's I awesome. I thought it would be Lydia. I did too, which <laughs> begs the question, where is Lydia? Uh, wow. Oh my God. Look at Sophia all grown up, man. I know. Kind of looks a little bit like Andrea in a way. Yeah. All right, so... He's just looking at the walker. What are you doing? He's sticking his fingers in the walker's mouth, man. <laughs> Making sure it didn't bite anyone. It looks clean. I just don't understand how could a roamer <laughs> get here. <laughs> there are so many checkpoints, so many barriers to get past to get to get to get this far inside the safe zone. It's just one maybe it somehow slipped through. No, that can't. Wait. Is Herschel in town? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, um, just real quick before we go any further, our prediction was completely wrong. Yeah. Um, but of course, we didn't expect it to be the end of the series. So right. our prediction was kind of, you know, inf you know, inflated. I, I don't know. But yeah. it, you know, uh, we predicted <clears throat> that half of the issue was going to be the burial of Rick Grimes, um, and then the rest was going to deal with uh, uh, the ending. Right. And yeah, uh, yeah obviously. <laughs> we're going to probably, it, it looks like we're going to stay in this futuristic timeline. Oh, yeah. Uh, probably the whole issue. Yep. All right. So, yeah. Look at that. Uh, so he mentions Herschel, and there's See the Walking Dead. Uh, don't get too close. Well, they're there's, making a game out of it. It's like a um, circus show. Yeah. Holy shit, Carl Grimes, is that you? Look at you, a living legend. It's great to see you, man. You want to see the show? I'd be happy to hook you up. Who is that? Punch in the face. That's Herschel. Oh, dude. is that Herschel? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see the... He's uh, half China, half Asian, I should say. What? How many are in the cart, Herschel? How many? Did you find it? Oh, my God. I'm so glad it was you, Carl. I was so worried. It would it would hurt someone. Where is it? <clears throat> it's gone. I killed it. What? You killed it? It's fucking dead. Are you kidding me? Tell me you're kidding. Do you have any idea how much these things are worth? Where are you? Come back here. I'm getting Sheriff Kapoor. This is outrageous. The sheriff knows where I live. So we will get Kapoor. <clears throat> he was going to be on the cover of issue 194. Yep. School is fun sometimes, but not every day. Today we learn music stuff. I like that. Music is fun. That's awesome. I can't wait. Uh, that's awesome. I can't wait to, find, to get home and find out if uh, Atna enjoyed today's class as much as as much as you did Andrea I'll be sure to I'll be sure to tell him I saw saw you but I but but right now I kind of need to talk to your daddy can't read today Andrea go to your room and get pick out a dress for tonight we're having dinner over the Sutton room or over Ooh, at the Sutton room Sutton's. Sutton farm excuse me yeah okay sorry she gets excited whenever we have company it's okay she's adorable I'm really sorry Herschel bothered you with this shit, but it's good you're here. You get to help me get rid of that thing. You know a good place to burn it? I figured that'd be best. I'm sorry, Carl, but things aren't quite that simple. You're talking about burning evidence. This is destruction of private property. The law is very clear. The law? Wow. Hmm. That thing could have killed somebody, but it didn't. As it stands right now, it was personal property and you destroyed it. I'm not crazy. I know the dangers of what could have happened, but the law is only concerned with what did. You can't be serious. I'm sorry, but I am. I know we go way back. That's why you're not under arrest. And I'm going to do everything in my power to help you. We're going to have an informal hearing about the incident tomorrow. Hopefully we can keep your punishment down to a fine or something. A fine? I'm sorry, Carl, but that's the best I can do. I'll see you tomorrow. Wow. I told you that job was dangerous, boy. You should have stayed a smith like Mickey. <laughs> Mikey? Mikey, yeah, sorry. No, Earl, I told you. It didn't happen on a run. It was at my house. That's why I'm so mad at Herschel. He brought those things to town and then let one go. He put us all in danger. It's over now, though. Nothing to worry about. 
it's all been taken care of, but that's the thing it seems they're going to try to punish Carl for what he did. That's impossible. There hasn't been a roamer in these parts for a damn ten, near 10 years. Damn. So, uh, 10 years or so. How so would it have... It, yeah. Infrastructure is pretty good right now. Pretty good. How would it have gotten past the patrols? I was just tending to my rose bushes today. All clear. Another glorious day. Thanks to that famous father of yours. Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Little uh, call to Rick Grimes. I'm sure that's not the last little Rick yeah. Grimes hint we're probably going to see. Um, let's see. So continuing on, Sophia. You know, maybe you should consider moving into town. There's a lovely community for people your age. Brianna is so happy there. We'd sure worry about we sure worry about you um, a lot. We'd sure worry about you a lot less. Sorry. Um, back to Sutton. No, I should have left the hilltop after the third expansion. Hmm. Nice. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've done my time in civilization. I like living out here. How quiet it is. Also, I can't leave you guys on your own. What would you do without your cranky old neighbor? Are you, are you sure you want to take all of this food with us? It'll just spoil before I get around to it. Well, thank you, Earl. Thanks for having us. That boy wasn't raised right. Maggie was so busy with everything at the Commonwealth after your dad died that she just gave him everything he wanted. And that's only when she was around, which wasn't often. Herschel's always been in trouble. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry, guys. All right, um, so back to uh, Carl. Oh, yeah. You think I'm not paying attention sometimes, but I am. Sharp as ever, Earl. You have a good night. <laughs> uh, night was always so scary. I never appreciated the stars. I remember. Something so beautiful and still, it fills me with dread. Things are different now. Are they? For how much longer? Interesting. You okay? Sophia asking Carl. Uh, just thinking about my dad. You and everyone else alive at all times. <laughs> yeah. He never even got to meet Andrea. Sometimes I think about that, and it makes me sad. More than that, it's Earl. It's hard to see how he is now, how bad he's gotten. I couldn't bear to see my dad like that. So then I think, maybe it's good he's gone. That I've been spared seeing him deteriorate. That way he lives on as this icon. But that's horrific. So when I start thinking like that, I feel even worse. I just miss him so much. <clears throat> so do we. Yeah. Back in town, you didn't have to do this. Andrew's in school and I'm way ahead of, with my writing. Let me be here for you, Carl. You don't have to carry everything on your own. Ugh. <laughs> so um, he's saying, Ugh, you know, as the sheriff and yeah. local authorities are approaching. But interesting, you know, obviously, Sophia, they haven't officially said it, but we get the sense they're married um, mm -hmm. and she wants to be by his side. Yep. All so, right. Sorry, word must have gotten out about Carl Grimes coming into town for a hearing. Where are you seeing that? My oh. men will escort you in. <laughs> I'm like, why are you reading my page? And then I look and there's... Uh -oh. My book's opened up because there's a scratch on it, so yep. this is my reading copy. I have multiple copies. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> all right. Ready? Yep. All right, so it's on me. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we're in the courthouse now. Um, it's a rather full house today, so I need everyone to get uh, situated and take your seats. Any disruptions, and I will clear my court. Uh, wow, ominous looks from uh, Herschel and Carl. We find ourselves here today to discuss a simple dispute. I will allow both parties to tell their side of the story. I will then confer with my counsel and make my decision. It is my goal to ensure a peaceful and swift resolution to this dispute. So with that in mind, Herschel Green has been chosen to go first. I ask you to be brief. As many of you know, I make my living with a traveling show. I have some of the only known roamers in the safe zone. Interesting. Mm -hmm. People pay me to see these dangerous creatures up close. It is a great expense that I have acquired these specimens. I was frantic when one of them escaped. I spent the whole night searching for it, only to discover the next morning that Carl Grimes had found it and destroyed it immediately. 
hold on, I'll read this. Uh, you all know Carl has a famous father, but that shouldn't mean he can do whatever he wants without the fear of consequence. It's crazy that, like, we're so far ahead in time that doing what they always did, which was whenever they see a walker, immediately kill it, right. is now... Frowned upon. Frowned upon. It's yeah. they're, they're they're capturing them. They're putting them in cages and being paid to look at so, because now they're not. There isn't as many around that area. Yeah. So when I said that line from from Herschel, I immediately wanted to stop because wait, Carl's doing what he's always done. Exactly. It's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. I've never been to. I've never been to. I've never been to one of these hearings. This is new for me. New to me. <laughs> I'm not here to deny what I did. I saw that thing on my land where my wife and daughter live. There you go, wife. Yeah, and I know how dangerous they can be. It never occurred to me for even one second to consider doing something other than what I did. Kill it. That's what I've been, that's what I've done every time I've ever encountered one of them. And to be clear, I've encountered many. <laughs> you have to kill them before they kill you. I know that's not really the time we live in anymore. I know there's so many of you barely who barely remember what life was like. To you, the dead are a novelty, something to pay money to see for entertainment. I'm aware of how popular Herschel's show is. Doesn't mean I agree with it. I did what I did, I don't regret it, and I would do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Rick. Yep. If we now live in a world where protecting the living is cause for punishment, punish me. But forgive me if I'm certain most of you like me, are thankful my father didn't live to see us come to this. Oh, he'd be pissed. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was certainly dramatic. I think I have more than enough to make my judgment. If counsel will please see me in my chambers, I would like to... Sorry, I'm late. Oh, whoops. I took your... No, you're good. <laughs> Sorry, Dude, I'm late. <laughs> that is Maggie. I couldn't make the train last night. I came as fast as I could. Madam President... <laughs> She's president of Commonwealth now? Wow. You gotta be kidding me. Mom. Well, hold on. President of more than just Commonwealth. We don't know where they're at right um, now. All of them, maybe. Yeah. They have all, of all the... I uh, mean, a president is a president. Yeah. Governor Milton is a governor. Not saying that she's currently still alive, but... Dude, she's president of the whole, the whole yeah, show. Everyone, yeah. May I speak to you? Certainly, ma'am. She looks over at Carl and they're looking at each other like, what's up? <laughs> oh, my turn? Yeah. Thank you, Madam President. There will be no formal punishment for charges, for the charges. What? But Mr. Grimes will be required by law to find a suitable replacement for the destroyed specimen. What? <laughs> <laughs> Those are my orders. I suggest you carry them out in reasonable time or I'll see you back here. I'm calling for a small recess before we move on to the next hearing. I thought I was getting you off easy. You run into those things all the time. Can't be hard to bring one back with you. She was going to fine you the cost of the roamer. You can't afford that. Do you know the market value for Walking Dead? <laughs> wow. Market value? Jesus Christ, Maggie, do you hear yourself? Don't you mean Jesus Christ, Madam President? Oh my God. Not in the mood for jokes. You hate, you know I hate being called that. Carl, look. I'm as worried as you are how, how casual things are getting our, our people all across the colonies and are getting Interesting. soft. As our, safe zone, as our safe zone expands and the, uh, on the eve of us linking up with the Western Alliance, maybe this is how things are supposed to be. Maybe we've earned this. At least that's what I tell myself. I don't care what you have, what you have to tell yourself. I know you, I know you know just as well as I do that carting around those things, bringing them into town, it's dangerous. It's only a matter of time until your son gets someone killed. How many years has it been since someone was bitten? You want to bring that back? Interesting, the Western Alliance. So there is, on the west side of the Pushing country, yeah. uh, there, there obviously is other colonies that were probably starting around the same time mm -hmm. that are now linking up with Virginia and the east, right? Yeah. Carl. That's not the, our world anymore. That's all behind us now. I am saying, I am, am I saying no one will ever be bitten again? No, I'm sure it'll happen, but that doesn't mean things go back to how they were. You need to let go. 
for our own sake. Live your life and be happy. Enjoy the world your Father helped make for you, for all of us. Stop looking for danger around every corner. It's just not there anymore. How? <laughs> mm. This world doesn't last unless we all do our part to keep it going. Parading the dead around in front of our children isn't what my dad died for. So he gets on and he, he gets out. I made this easy on you, Carl. Don't do something stupid. On your next run, bring one of those things back for Herschel. Don't make things worse. Don't worry about him, Sophia says. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sophia's mad. The one you should be worried about is that son of yours. You always gave him whatever he wanted, and you still come running if there's even a hint of trouble for him. Can you blame me? After everything I saw you live through, I wanted to make things better for him. Well, you certainly did that, but I feel he, like he'd be better off if you told the asshole no every once in a while. Don't talk your brother. Don't talk. Don't talk about your brother like that. In case you don't know, everyone talks about my brother like that. Everyone. You're going to end up with a Sebastian Milton if you're not careful. Oh shit! Carl is the least of your worries. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> wow. Jesus. Pretty good so far, man. Yeah, that's really good right now. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, I said an extra slow down. <laughs> I'm on your side. I know. Sometimes I just wish you weren't the only one. What? I'm not enough for you? I'd say you're almost too much. Race to Andrea's school? Sure, if you want to lose something else today, fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Andrea's out. She's worried about you. She said, why is daddy so mad? I'll talk to her tomorrow before I go. I don't want to worry her. I don't want her to worry. Ready for bed? I'm going to go out. I need to clear my head before my trip tomorrow. Okay. How late will you be? I don't know. Herschel, you need to settle up if you're checking out. You know my family's good for it. We'll settle up on my, I'll settle up on my way back through town. Cool? <laughs> Thanks. I'll be sure to patronize your business again in the future. Might even talk to my mom about staying here. Herschel, Herschel, come quick. One of the kids in town. I just wanted one last look before you left, but... <laughs> of course. Man. It's time for the roamers. <laughs> no, they're all dead. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah, they got they're, out. Like, someone went through... Someone. Oh, they're going to blame Carl for that. Probably. He probably did it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Oh, that's probably true. Bye, Daddy, I love you. No, nope, he hasn't left yet. Uh, well, who knows? I mean, he... he could have went and come back. Yeah. yeah. Love you, too. I'll be home as soon as I can. You sure that's the whole list? I've never seen you load a cart so fast. Mm. I'm in a bit of a hurry. You thought you could sneak away? Ooh. Is that Lydia? That is Lydia, that dude. Is Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like Andrea. Yeah, like old she school does. Andrea with yeah. that hat and that rifle. Wow, she's still got the hat. Yeah. That's cool. I came to help you load up. They said I'd mi I just missed you. You're not trying to avoid me again, are you? Sorry, Lydia. I needed to get back out of town. I needed to get out of town in a hurry. I'll tell you about it on the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. he did it. So what happens when you go back? After what I did, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good. The crazy thing is I have no regrets. That may change during this trip. As we get closer and closer to going back... But for now, at least I know I did the right thing. Of course you did. You always have. That's the Carl Grimes I know. Okay, back to it. What about Jesus and Aaron? Yay! Are we going all the way down to the river? No, someone's meeting us on the bank here in five days. That'll take m no more than three days to get there. We're hitting the groves first. No, we should save that for the way back so we can bring the things home. If we swing through here, we can make a drop with Springhaven on the way. <laughs> Springhaven? Through there? That's the long way to put it mildly. Why would we... Oh. I don't know why you even bother. He's never there. The supplies are getting used. Someone is staying in the area even if they're hiding from us for some reason. I think of... I can think of a reason or two. Ooh, I wonder if he's talking about Negan. Negan. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <Yep. laughs> Knock, 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 knock. Hello, anyone? Let's go. Sorry. So, um, just real quick summary on that page, because I'm not sure we're going to see him at all. 
I don't know. It, it seems like it. Yeah. But, um, so he's on his own. He's always been on his own. Um, and Carl's bringing him supplies every once in a while. The supplies are getting used, so he yeah. knows. And obviously he buried, buried Lucille. Or maybe that's where she was buried. Spring Haven. Oh, no. Spring Haven. Spring Haven. Yeah. So maybe he did go back to find. He went back to find. To, yeah. Wow. I always predicted that. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> uh, is it me? Yep. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's weird. It's just nice to talk to anyone who knew him. You know, there's this unspoken thing, the sense of you were there. You know, he's not just a myth to them. He's real. It keeps him real for me. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Please tell Jesus and Aaron I said hello. They told me to beg you to come for a visit. They haven't seen Andrea in about a year. They did say they'll come to. Uh, they did say they'll come to you as soon as uh, the harvest is over. Wait, Carl. No carvings. Lauren has been asking about some walrus you said you'd make her for the last two drop-offs. Shit. I'm sorry, uh, Elias. I've just been so busy it's slipped my mind. I haven't been doing uh, much carving lately. What's that sound? Whoa, hold up. Oh, wow. Ooh. I read about this once. How when settlers first came to this country, they could hunt by, by blindly firing their guns into the air when a flock passed overhead because the bird population was so dense. We brought the population down. I guess there's not enough of us to do, left to do that anymore. Wow. Hmm. Well, makes sense. Yeah. Where are you at? Really? Are you not paying attention? Are you not entertained? I am entertained. <laughs> You're up here. I'm done. Oh, oh wait. Uh, I forgot one. Lydia says that is amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I can't believe you still wear that. Damn thing must be worth a fortune. I can't believe you haven't asked for it back. A gift's a gift. Was a time you needed it. It made me feel safe. Thought I'd make you feel, sa feel the same. I hope it still makes you feel safe. It's going to be cold tonight. We can both sleep in the tent. Mm. I don't think Sophia would appreciate that. How would she find out? I don't think Connor would appreciate it either. You know I was just joking around. I'm not going to try to try and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want you hanging out here freezing all night. I was trying to be nice. Oh my god, you sleep with that on too? What? <laughs> so, <clears throat> that's pretty funny because... Uh, if you read last issues, Lydia was the one to convince Carl to take it off. She never yeah. liked him wearing it. Yeah. So here she is again. They're kind of having a nice little reunion type moment. And it's almost like she's going back to the way she was mm -hmm. when they were together. Yeah. The eye patch. Good night. I never made you hide your wound. I celebrated it when we were together. I loved you because of it. Not in spite of it. I would have never asked you to cover it up. Remember how I used to lick? <laughs> to lick it. Stop it. I don't do this for Sophia, so doesn't make me she doesn't make me wear this. I do it for Andrea. She doesn't know what life was like, and I don't want her to. I don't want her to live in a world where the, our scars are exposed for everyone to see. I want a better world for her. Sounds like you want to lie to her. So it's interesting. I just want to stop here and kind of do some analysis. It seems like we don't know what happened between them, why they separated, why they've moved on, but it almost seems like at first you think that it's her choice because she's with Connor, mm -hmm. but maybe it was Carl's choice because she's like trying to make herself better than Sophia. Like, right. hey, I never made you wear that eye patch. Sophia did. She mm -hmm. didn't say that, but right. yeah, it's just interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, where was it? Okay. Uh, you look at my face and you see death. I know it, and you know it. That's the world I'm from, and we're from. But that world is gone, and I don't want to remind my daughter of it every time she looks at me. It has nothing to do with me, or you, no, no or Sophia, or you. So drop it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry about last night. It's okay. Just hurry. We need to get the cart loaded and tied down before the train leaves the station. What does that say? East and West to finally unite on that newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, everyone out. This is as far west as the train goes. There's also a trade deal intimate. So oh, cool. they've set up trade. Yeah, they got a train working. I wonder if uh, Eugene had a hand in that. For now. Oh my god. 
He's really going to do it. They are rebuilding the train system so they can travel. That's pretty awesome. And there he is. There he is. Welcome to the Western Front. <laughs> Did you bring that grading attachment? Progress has been really stalled since ours broke. I got your letter. We brought the whole list. I mean, who are you talking to here? I should have never doubted you. You're the best messenger in the Commonwealth, Carl. So he must be living outside of the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. uh, and he does it all by himself. I can't believe how far you've come since last I seen seen you. Since last I was here, uh, the train just kept going and going. It's remarkable. I know, right? We'll have met the Western Alliance's tracks within a year, for, for sure, uniting the East and West for the first time since the trials first began. I just wish Stephanie had lived to see it. Mm -hmm. God, I hope I live to see in see it the way things have been with me lately. Oh, nonsense, Eugene. You're as healthy as a horse. Yeah, a sick one. But enough about that. Let's get your cart unloaded and get you fed. Come on. Hmm. Um, again, I just want to point out, like, uh, Lydia says, and, he, and he's been doing it all by himself. So, completely disregarding Sophia. <laughs> right. Like, she has no hand in it. So, she's kind of, obviously, a little jealous of Sophia. Always has been. Yeah. Um, but also, the, the tracks are meeting up almost like they did when the tracks were first built. Mm -hmm. You know, the east was going towards the west, and they met in in Utah. Yeah, we don't know where this is at, or this is close to Ohio. So, right, it's pretty awesome. Maybe even further. Yeah, you think he's really sick? He's been talking like that for years, but really, I don't know. Let me. No, it's okay. I'll be fine. I'll catch up to you. Someone's coming. I didn't know you were working out here. One of the last places left that actually needs security, and even still, we don't see much action. I prefer the Outer Territories, less Rick Grimes worship going on out here. People are too busy to praise your father for shit he had almost nothing to do with. Nice seeing you too, Laura. Ooh. Ooh she, she's, she's gotten older. <laughs> and a little uglier. I'm never going to forget what he did. I'm never going to forget what he did. You know what? I was with my father a whole lot longer than you were. I was a kid, but I heard more than anyone thought I did. And you know what? Dwight was far from the only person who died along the way. There are many people who are dead because of Rick Grimes, but every single person alive today is alive because of him, including you. You know why things are quiet, even out here? Him. Show a little respect. Oof. Looking forward to heading back tomorrow. After that, with what I'm up against back home, maybe a little. See, that would be tough, and I won't, I won't take too long, but that'd be tough for Carl, I mean, living with the legacy of his father for the people yeah, who... were living in a shadow. Well, not just that, the people who agreed with what Rick Grimes did, yeah. and then the people who disagreed, yeah. so you're always going to have that back and forth. Well, it, but, so, but here's the deal. Um, it seems like the people that disagree with Rick Grimes are in the minority, because here's Laura, who yeah. wants to disagree with Rick Grimes, and has to go to basically nowhere to find yeah. people that don't believe in Rick Grimes or didn't. <laughs> We got all that left, guys. Long video. But it's worth it. Yes. <laughs> all right. On the train. And Andrea, or not Andrea, so um, Lydia. And then here's your cut. Lydia, you're a good friend. I know. I love you, too. Dips out. End of Lydia. Daddy! Yay! Andrea, come here, girl. I missed you bunches and bunches and bunches. It was the biggest snake I ever saw. I think it was a mile long. Mommy killed it dead. Really? Wow. That's really... That's... I'm gonna need you to come to. I'm, I'm gonna need you to run on into the house. I'll talk. I need to talk to your mommy. Wow. And some of these are like, well, hmm. yeah. I think that'd be best. Ooh, she's pissed. Is mommy mad? No more than she should be. Run along. <laughs> why, goddammit? Just tell me why you were really that mad over some stupid traveling sideshow. They're going to arrest you over this. Why? If I go to jail, okay? I made a sacrifice to keep my daughter safe. That's what my dad taught me. Andrea was safe. She is safe. She'll be less safe without you. Damn it. Faster than I thought they'd be. <laughs> Damn. 
time has arrived. Ooh, Commonwealth soldiers. I'm not really getting a fugitive vibe here from you. I could take the cuffs off and then put them back on before we arrive at the station. Mr. Grimes, I feel bad about all this. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Respect. For the record, I don't fault you at all for what you did. Keeping those things as pets is dangerous. Should be outlawed no matter who is doing it. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. Thanks. Going all the way to the Commonwealth 1. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, dude. That's that was 50,000 people. Wow. So if Commonwealth 1 is 50,000 people, Jeez. that's crazy. All right. Uh, let, me, let me start that over. Going all the way to Commonwealth 1 to be seen by Judge Hawthorne. You really pissed off the president with this one. Still, not the way a grime should be treated. Ooh, I love that. Respect. Whole mess of people are really angry about this. Yeah. Five minutes. I mean it. Okay, thanks. Sorry about before. Don't be. You have every right to be angry. I've been stupid. Yes, you have. But listen, it's still an informal hearing, so things could be worse. There's a destruction of property charge, but Herschel is now claiming he took the whole thing as a threat on his life. <laughs> that's absurd. I know, but it's complicating things. I think that's why it got kicked up to high court so quickly. Yeah, that word. That worried me. Judge Hawthor Hawthorne, though, that's got to be a good thing, right? I don't know. I hope so. Oh, we oh, showed <laughs> Hawthorne. All rise for the Honorable Judge Hawthorne. Wow. You may be seated. Dude, this is going to get intense. I'm not going to bother restating, rest, rest, restating. restating the issues we're here to address. It's all anyone has been talking about for days. Carl Grimes on trial. So I must remind you, this is not a trial. This is an informal hearing. And this is the high court. That means when I make my ruling, it is final. And I alone rule against the accused. No jury, no lawyers no trial. These hearings are meant to be swift, so in the interest of staying true to their design, Mr. Grimes, let's hear what you have to say in your defense. Thank you, Ms. Judge Hawthorne. <laughs> <laughs> I am not ignorant to the laws that govern the citizens of the Commonwealth. I know how important personal property is to all of us, and how severe a crime destroying said property is. But when that creature walked across my land, I didn't see a fine piece of furniture, or valuable livestock, or a beautiful fruit tree. I saw the thing that took many of our lives, some right in front of me. And I did what I did, or, and I did what I knew had to be done. I was ordered to replace the roamer I'd killed. It's one thing to worry, one of Herschel's pets might attack someone. I couldn't bear the thought of it being one I provided him. Interesting. The thought of that, it pushed me over the edge, and I did again the very thing that had gotten me in trouble, only worse. The thing is, I knew they were there. I knew they were dangerous. It was something I, had, I felt I had to do. Maybe I'm a, a relic. Maybe I don't look at the world the right way. Maybe I'm not adjusted well enough to this new world. I'm a messenger. I spend weeks at a time. I spend weeks at a time out on the road, often far outside the safe zone where things are almost as bad as they were. So the dangers aren't so far in the past that they're easily forgotten. Not for me. It's interesting. He his it's it's like it seems like his job is a messenger mm -hmm. to go out and bring messages from different communities. So yeah. almost like a mailman type deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have a daughter. She means everything to me. Andrea is strong, confident, and brilliant. Every bitch as much as her namesake. Namesake. I see the way she looks at the world, wide-eyed and full of optimism, and I want to keep that. I don't ever want that to change. Andrea is six years old, and she's never even seen a roamer. That's the world my father built. That's the world we should all be working our hardest to maintain. But I'm here defending myself for killing something that should be exterminated. Have you forgotten how things are outside the safe zone? How easily we can fall back to old ways? This is just, it's, that's all I have to say. 
<laughs> you bring up a good point, Carl Grimes. One of the heroes of the trials. Son of the great Rick Grimes. Man. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Uh, what's the trials? I don't know. It must have been something that they... Maybe something after the whole... After Rick's death, maybe they did some trials or something. I'm not really sure. People don't seem to remember how things were. It's true. Even I have have to sometimes remind myself that some of the things I lived through actually happened. That's how peaceful things are now, in general, that it makes it hard to remember what we've overcome, or even the times before the trials. It's, it's like they're... I have a theory, but I don't want to... Oh, I'll read on. Uh, sorry. I reminded of the uh, of the words on the base of the, a certain statue you all had to walk past to get into this building. How many hours are in a day? So she's reading the base of the statue because she's obviously memorized it. How many hours are in a day when you don't spend half of them watching television? When is the last time any of us really worked to get something that we wanted? How long has it been since any of us has really needed something that we wanted. The world we knew is gone. The world of commerce and frivolous necessity has been replaced by a world of survival and responsibility. An epidemic or of apoplectic, apoplectic proportions has swept the globe, causing the dead to rise and feed on the living. In a matter of months, society has crumbled. No government, no grocery stores, no mail delivery, no cable TV in a... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> in, a world, in a world ruled by the dead, we are forced to finally start living. It's the last line that most import, that's most important to me because they're basically saying that the trials we lived through gave us a better world than the one we had before. So basically like the trials, I think it's just like trials and tribulations of just, you know, what they did, what they did before. Mm -hmm. The dead made us live. That involved a lot of sacrifice, so that's an unpopular interpretation but I know people who agree with me, the world we live in now is quieter, simpler, more fair, more just, and happier. But oh, what But oh, what we gave up to get here, let us never forget, so that we can honor those who we lost along the way. I, I get it. So just real quick, um, the and this is kind of what I was going to say is, the, when they're referencing the trials, that's all of the time that took place prior to them getting to this new world. Where they are now. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, all of the all of the on the run at the prison, yeah. all of the shit they went through, everyone went through, is yeah. called the trials. Yeah. The owning and displaying of roamers for profit is an, an abhorrent practice. I've always felt that way. It is the best example of forgetting what we've lived through and dishonoring those we have lost. That is why I'm putting forth a motion to outlaw it yeah. throughout the Commonwealth. This matter is settled. Mr. Grimes, you are free to go. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. High court. <laughs> High court. Boom. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to let them send one of my favorite people to jail? Nice. I mean, it was my sword you used. You taking good care of it? <laughs> I keep it nice and sharp, just in case. I don't think there are many people who would l believe the famous Judge Hawthorne used a, used to carry a sword. She didn't. It was Michonne who carried the sword. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's changed, of course. Michonne was someone who carried a lot of guilt. It haunted her, had her talking to ghosts, pushing people away, and forgetting who she was. Hawthorne was my ex-husband's name. <laughs> I never changed it after the divorce because my practice knew me under that name. Eventually that name was just a painful reminder of a failed marriage and lost children. So I hid it from who I was. I hid it from it and who I was. Now I feel like I earned it back. The work I've done, what I've accomplished, it's who I am now. I never would have been able to do that without your father and the world he built. There are some people out there who feel like your father gets too much credit. There were so many of us helping him along the way, sure. But I feel like he still doesn't get enough credit. So anytime I have a chance to set something right or honor the man in some w small way, I'll take it. Lucky for me, I've missed you, Carl. You need to get some. Get, you need to come visit more often and under better circumstances. And Jesus, Andrea's six already. Yep. My word, time just keeps doing what time does, doesn't it? Now that thing, 
now that things are calm enough to let it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> As he's walking down a dark alley. <laughs> Herschel, you, you shouldn't sneak up on me like that. I'm not some spoiled brat who got whatever he wanted and thinks he's above the law. I built a business and I provided a service. You get your way, people will forget how things were. You'll see. My show reminded them what was out there, kept them afraid, made them appreciate what they have. I never met my father. Mm. Mm -hmm. Almost no one remembers him. No one builds statues of him or writes books about what he did. Most of what I know about him is inside me, who I am, tells me who he was. When I felt the fear of being around those things, I felt like I was feeling what he felt. I felt like I was getting closer to him. Fuck you for what you did. Your father wouldn't be doing this, boy. No, he would not. Man, I'm ruining my issue. You have to get another one. <laughs> Howdy, stranger. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I really thought you'd be in a better mood. It's like I don't know you at all. Sorry, I'm happy, relieved. We can go home and celebrate. I'm just, I know, it's been a long few days. Whoa, dude, nice eye patch. <laughs> you leave the parrot at home? Maybe he ate it. Fucking savage, this guy. <laughs> hey guys, stop it. Don't you realize who that is, who this is? This is Carl Grimes. He lived through the trials. That means he made sacrifices so that we could have what we have. My dad told me all about it. Nice. Huh. W whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Grimes. They didn't mean anything. I'll probably be in. It'll probably be another generation before people start really taking this all for granted. <laughs> Interesting. Whoa! Whoa! Yes. That's right. You build it. Wow. That is legit. <laughs> and and talk about like literally living in the shadow of your father. <laughs> like there is the definition yeah, right there. He is literally in the shadow of his father. That's legit. <laughs> but I mean, look, I, that's that's freaking amazing. I love it. Almost done. All right. I don't want it to end. <laughs> it wasn't like this, you know. The chest all puffed out. He looks like he's calling down a storm from the heavens or something. It's how people want to remember him. The man who made the world. Yeah. It's just, he did enough that he shouldn't have to fake it. It's just a statue, Carl. Let's go home so you don't have to look at it anymore. Oh, look at him look back. Oh, freaking love it, man. Did you ever think we'd make it here? Here? To this farmhouse? No, of course not. You know what I mean. This is what I'm thinking about when I say my dad doesn't get enough credit. That they don't need to change his statue so he looks cooler. Just look at us. Look at this place. Look at what we have. What our lives are. I know. I know. I've been really I've been scared, really scared in I haven't been I haven't been scared, really scared in I can't even remember. Do you think there was ever a time when people appreciated what they have more than we do now? All I know is I really appreciate what I have. I love you, Carl Grimes. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> it looks like they're scared right there. <laughs> All right. Will you read to, read to me before bed? You just want to stay up later, Andrea. You think I don't see through this? Come on. <sighs> oh, God. I just left over at a page. I know. And I think it's him. Yeah. Do not fear, dear reader, for this may seem like a scary book at first. And your mommy and Something. daddy. What? You think that's Carl Grimes? No, no, no. Oh. Uh, may even read it to, uh, read it in a scary voice. Shame on them. But this is not a scary story. This is a story about hope. One day, a long time ago, dead people decided they didn't want to be dead anymore. Nobody knows why. And don't be embarrassed. It scared everyone. Nobody knew what was happening or why. But it changed. But life changed. Looks like uh, Herschel's in a little, little bit of trouble. Everyone was tested. That's why this time came to be called the trials. Mm. You've probably heard your parents talk about it. It was a scary time, and many good, strong people lost themselves along the way. There's mm. Jesus and Aaron. There's Negan. Negan! They started to forget who they were. They even started to forget what was good He's and bad. Grave. They only worried about the living. There was no time to follow rules. Almost nobody brushed their teeth or went to sleep 
by their bedtime. A great darkness fell across the whole world. It made everyone sad. People didn't know if things would ever get back to normal. Most people were sure it would never, it never would. And they got sadder and meaner. Mercer and Princess? Yep. <laughs> when things were at their darkest, a man came along. Someone who had been hurt by the trials. But he didn't make it, it didn't make him sad. Not all the time, at least. And we all know it's okay to be sad sometimes. So that's Lydia. Yeah. Hey, Magna and Yumiko. Rick Grimes had an idea. He knew that if we stayed together and made friends instead of enemies, we could do anything, even remake the world. He made friends and lost friends as he moved across the country. He met people he thought he would be friends, but they turned out to be bad. He sometimes had to hurt the bad people to protect his friends. Sometimes he was scared that he was becoming a bad person, but he never did. And he taught other people how not to let the trials turn them into bad people. He even met bad people and turned them into friends. Rick traveled far and wide, always bringing his friends with him, and they made him stronger. They made him safe. And he taught people how to make friends and use them to make them stronger and safer. She's a grandma. Oh, look at the next panel. <laughs> the trials made people so angry that some of them just wanted to fight. But Rick knew this was wrong. He showed them how to be friends instead. Trials were dangerous times, and even Rick didn't survive them. Interesting. Now, there's a little bastard mm -hmm. um, and his mother, who looks to be in a wheelchair. Yeah. But he was able to show us the way which, with his teachings. The trials ended, and life returned to normal. We even have ice cream again. <laughs> <laughs> People are happy instead of sad, and safe instead of scared, and nice instead of mean. All because someone was strong enough to do it, do what was right. Whatever you are, whatever you're doing, you're you're there, and you're safe because of Rick Grimes. Mm. Oh, this ending is really starting to get good. Yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> what <laughs> cry? No, I'm trying to get it, like keep it together here. Yeah, you would have really liked him. Who? Your grandfather. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. already. Yeah. Um, he did all those things, my father, your grandfather, Rick Grimes. This book is about him. I know, Dad. You tell me every time. Read it again. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. It's over. Wow. Oh. That gave me, that literally I know, that made had me, me tears, man. That had me. Oh. Um, Woo! Before we read the letters, uh, let's just get your initial thoughts. Um, that was good. Um, that was really good. I agree with what people told me. I thought that was a beautiful ending. Um, we got to see a lot of the characters that we knew are alive. They are, you know, still living. They're doing their thing. And, um... Yeah, we know that Negan is alive, and, but just the fact of seeing just everyone. I mean, the, the, the mm -hmm. whole different change of Carl being with Sophia, not Lydia, but Lydia is happy. They're still friends. And, you know, Michonne it, is, you know, a grandmother nice. and, yeah. you know, it, all that. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the story. Um, I am... A, it was great. I, I really think it was great. I, I really enjoyed this. Um, I thought it was done perfectly. Um, the whole story kept it flowing, kept it, kept me engaged. Obviously it was the last issue, so I was going to anyway, but, yeah. um, I just think there's so much more story out there now. Yeah. Like so much, like you could even do a spinoff of Carl being the messenger, like a oh, whole yeah. series of his messenger. Um, the, the things that happen to him as he's going out and, and, you know, uh, providing these messages to people. Yeah. Um, so there's tons of story out there, but again, um, it was done for a certain reason and let's, let's get into the, the pages. Now we're going to go page by page here. There's six pages. So I think each one of each of us will have three pages to read. Okay. 
Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and read the final pages. Um, it looks like Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes. <laughs> it is. Rick looks Grimes. like Robert Kirkman has left us with, uh, it looks like a good six pages. So Jarrell and I are each going to read a page. Now, if we hear something interesting, which will probably happen quite often uh, throughout this read, uh, we're going to stop and talk about it for a little bit. Yeah. So. All right. So I'll start. Okay. Um, this is the end of The Walking Dead. That's it. It's over. We're done. I'm sure you have a million questions, and I'm sure you feel emotional about all this, as we do, if not more so. I'm completely willing to bet some of you are angry over this. I get it. I do. I mean, why didn't we announce this so the fan, so that fans would have some time to prepare? Interesting and very important question, but whatever. Well, personally, I hate knowing that w what's coming. As a fan, I hate it when I realize I'm in the third act of a movie and the story is winding down. I hate that I can count commercial breaks and know I'm nearing the end of a show. I hate that you f that you can feel when you're getting to the end of a book or a graphic novel. Personally, I love knowing that I'm getting to the end of a graphic novel mm -hmm. because the end is usually pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um, some of the best episodes of Game of Thrones are when they're structured in such a way and paced to perfection so that your brain can't tell if it's been watching for 15 minutes or 50 and when the end comes, you're stunned. I love long movies for that very reason. You lose track of time because you went in convinced that you're going to be there for a while, for a long time. But the story moves at such an entertaining and engaging pace that by the time the movie's wrapping up, you can't believe it's already over. Surprise, it's over. <laughs> All I've ever done, all a creator can really do, is tailor make these um, tailor make stories to entertain themselves and hope the audience feels the same way. That's all I've ever been doing, and it seems to work most of the time. The Walking Dead has always been built on surprise, not knowing what's going to happen when you turn the page, who's going to die, how you're going to die. It's been essential to the success of the series. It's been the lifeblood that's been keeping it going all these years, keeping people engaged. It felt wrong and against the very nature of the series to, to make the actual end as surprising as all the big deaths, from Shane all the way to Rick. To be honest, it seemed like a really good idea at the time, but now we're here and the series is over. I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> nice. Not so much so that I'm changing course, I would be kind of it would be kind of impossible to do anyway, but it's possible as much as I hate to admit it that I'm genuinely feeling a sense of regret over this whole crazy plan. Interesting. I want you to see what went through what went into this though. I want you to understand why if that's possible. I feel like you all deserve at least that. So let's pull this curtain back in a way, well, I usually try not to do. When it comes to the end of the series, here's how the sausage got made. Uh, okay. We're about to find out. Yeah, let's hear this. Way back in early 2015, Charlie Adler turned in the cover for issue 142. He had taken my direction of showing happy people at the Alexandria Fair, the booths, the commerce. A very civilized scene, and he'd worked wonders with the concept. It was a cover unlike anything that had come before. To me, it was a real turning, turning point for the series. The thing is, this was over four years ago at this point, but I, pretty much knew, I, I knew pretty much every big story point that was going to happen all the way up to this final issue. A couple years prior, around 2013 or so, I'd even told Charlie at San Diego Comic-Con what the gist of this final issue was. I revealed how the story would end with Carl reading his daughter a storybook about Rick's exploits. I just didn't know exactly what issue that story would fall in. I knew the end, but I didn't know where it would fall. I figured somewhere past 300. As I've always, as I've said publicly, I've always wanted to reach that number, mm -hmm. that big, round, Serbius number that all the insane indie comic creators try to chase. But when I saw the cover to issue 142, it dawned on me. Oh shit, we're already at the fair. The Commonwealth is just around the corner, and oh man, there's no way I'm going to make it to issue 300. It was the first time I realized that I didn't have enough story worked out to get there. I didn't know exactly how long we'd fight the Whisperers or how long we'd be spending in the Commonwealth before Rick would bring his own uh, would bring his, uh, about his own demise. But I knew the whole run wouldn't be another 150 issues. Nice, interesting. Yeah. 
I started working things out, trying to figure out how long things would run, and it dawned on me. I had about 50 issues until I got to my planned end. I always have to keep collections in mind. Now that we do four-day issue compendiums that are very popular, our most popular format. Interesting that it's the most popular format. Yeah. It would be irresponsible to wrap this series up in a way that resulted in compendium readers having to buy a different format to finish the series. So I was but they ha- are. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So I was happy that it appeared things worked out where the this, where this series would wrap up nicely in the fourth compendium. But I wasn't quite sure it was time to wrap things up. I love writing this series. It's been my life's dream. So when I first came to this realization, my first instinct was, well, I just need to come up with more story. That's what we would think as well. I even spent a few weeks trying to come up with a new plot, new story to tours to push the ending I had in mind back and keep things going for a while. Possibly even a while. A long while. An extra compendium, maybe two. Interesting. That would have been legit. And again, pulling back the curtain, this happened before. I'd already abandoned one planned ending to keep the series going. Yep, that's an exclusive I've never revealed anywhere. Uh, mm. Holy shit. Uh, interesting. Yeah. So if you did it before, I'm, I'm curious to know why he couldn't do it again. Uh, so anyway, let's read on. Um, let's go off on a tangent for a moment. When the story got to Alexandria in issue 72, things were going to be pretty much as they did. Rick and his crew were going to have trouble fitting in because of everything they'd been through. That would lead to conflict within Alexandria, and it would eventually lead to Rick taking over. The big storyline, No Way Out, ended with Rick proclaiming that Alexandria was a place worth fighting for, that they could no longer keep moving from place to place. They had to take a stand, lay down roots, and start building from there. Their nomad days were behind them. Interesting. It kind of resembles uh, Commonwealth in a way. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, for years, that had been planned to be the end. Rick would make his proclamation, and the speech would end with a big close-up of Rick's face. You'd turn the page, and Rick's face would be the same, only it was a statue. (laughs) Interesting. And you'd zoom out and see the full statue with some vines growing on the bottom of it, cracks forming, and you'd realize it was an It was quite old. We'd keep zooming out until we saw that the statue was in Alexandria, the same place where where he'd given the speech, but it was different. It was an old, run-down, broken windows and missing doors. We'd keep zooming out until a zombie walked by, then another, and we'd see Rick had brought them to Alexandria, given his grand speech about rebuilding civilization, and succeeded to the point that they built a statue in honor of him. But in the end, the dead won. Society crumbled again, this time seemingly for good, and that was it. Hmm. Um, Let's stop there. Really, really interesting. So, issue 79, he wanted to end it. Not necessarily on issue 79, but he knew that that was the point where it was going to end. Uh, 72, sorry. Yeah. Um, And then this ending was supposed to happen. I don't think I would have liked that one. No. Yeah. (laughs) No, not at all. And here, so let's continue on. It was a terrible ending. Bleak, (laughs) sad, made whole stories pointless. Exactly. Kind of like Game of Thrones. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What can I say? I was young, and most of the endings I wrote or came up with back then were pretty bleak. So that ending, in hindsight, was embarrassingly bad. But more than that, I wasn't ready to end the series. Not by a long shot. You have to understand, when starting this, when, when I started writing this thing, I had no clue I'd make it to issue 12. So I thought that having a book that ran 100 issues was insane. So when this book really took off in its second year, I was able to make far-reaching plans for the future. But even at that point, a 100-issue run still seemed impossible. So when I found myself starting down, staring down the barrel of completing, of a completed 100-issue series, I just wasn't ready to let it go. I was having too much fun. Think about how things would have gone if I'd wrapped things up then. No Negan, no Exegeal, no All Out War, no Time Jump, no Magna, no Whispers, no Commonwealth, no Princess, and a really crummy ending to boot. That sucks. It makes, makes sense, but I'm going to go back to the same question of, 
if we closed it up, if we if we wrote enough material to get it past a hundred, um, and we did, and and we sacri- and, and we 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 could have lost Negan, mm-hmm. All Out War, Alexandria, or Ezekiel. Think of those things that we're missing now. Yeah, <laughs> could have could have done more. No, I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> to top it off, shortly after I scrapped the planned ending and decided to keep going, I came up with pretty much the exact ending of this issue, which I felt was more fitting and rewarding. I'm glad I made the decision I did. I did back then. I have no regrets. This time, though, things are very different. As I worked to come up with ways to expand the story, none of it felt right. Everything felt like an unnecessary detour. It was, for lack of a better word, filler. The harder I tried to come up with new places to go, the clearer it was to me that this was that this is what this, this story needed. It needed to end. So, like I said, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Four years ago, this plan seemed rock solid. Can I stop? Yeah. So you said at some point things were different. I worked to come up ways to expand the story. None of it felt right. Everything felt like an unnecessary detour. Yeah. Do you think, in your opinion, so he he actually did try to expand it again, mm-hmm. um, but he just didn't feel like the stories were right. Do you think that's because of Rick Grimes wasn't there? Maybe. Yeah, like you couldn't write any I more just, story. I just noticed that. Ah. Oh shit. <laughs> You couldn't. Well, no, you can keep going. Sorry. You couldn't write any more story because your your main character Rick Grimes wasn't there anymore, and yeah. without that Rick Grimes, maybe maybe the stories fell flat. But he even I think he even said before like the, the it will go on without Rick Grimes. But like you said, maybe yeah, but it maybe just, once it he happened fi- so quickly, maybe once he finally got rid like, of Rick, he's like, oh crap, I can't. Yeah, like here's the deal. Like we've said, he said in multiple interviews, look, Rick Grimes will die, but the story will go on. Dude, what for an issue? Yeah, the story went on for one issue after yeah. Rick Grimes. You were talking before that the story was going to go on without Rick Grimes for much longer. Right. So it kind of just makes me feel like maybe this was not the initial plan, the the end. Oh, wow. Because everything that was said before is contradicting Every, what yeah. we're reading now. Exactly. <laughs> um, seem rock solid. Uh, never tell anyone, keep it secret, and even go as far as soliciting fake issues that will never exist. Yeah. So, they, so that we can really surprise people. Oh, man, I thought this was going to be great. I worked out with Charlie right away. He'd always been pushing to end on a high note. He was with me all the way. As long as I didn't run this series into the ground, Charlie just wanted to make this book special. If I had a solid plan for 300 issues, he'd have made it happen. But if I started turning in stories Charlie thought were lame, I would have, I would have heard about it and he'd have convinced me to end the series. So when we talked about the plan, Charlie was excited. His fear of us overstaying our welcome and keeping this book going well past its popularity were quelled. I'll say it again. I love, loved, oh God, I'm not ready to pass for a past tense, writing this series. I really don't want it to end. In fact, I've been kind of unsettled since I wrote the script for this issue. The whole thing just feels weird. In a way, killing the series has been a lot like killing a major character, much, much harder. But the same feeling, I don't want to do it. I'd rather keep going, but the story is telling me what it wants and what it needs. This needs to happen, whether I want it or not. It just feels right, while also feeling terrible. The main point of all this is, well, I'm scared. Most of my professional life has been spent on this series. Countless hours are dedicated to this, month in, month in, month out. More than anything in the last 16 years, this is going to fundamentally change my life, so I'm terrified. When my fingers typed out the end on the keyboard as I finished the script, I thought I'd feel relief or some sliver of pride in a job well done, but it was just dread. I wasn't ready for it to be over, but it was. It is. Oddly, as unsure as I feel about about ending the story, I feel confident on how I ended it. I've been building to this for years, and it does feel good to end on such a happy note. To know that everything these characters lived through meant something. To see Michonne got her, got to find her daughter, find peace with her life, and even have a grandchild, that feels good. That the world is fixed and at peace, and in some ways it's even better than before. That's meaningful. And to see Carl in that rocking chair reading happily to his daughter, to know that's the life Rick wanted to, him to have, that makes me happy. 
I hope it makes you happy too, even if you're upset and not getting to spend time with this world anymore. I'm upset too. I'm going to miss it as much as you will, if not more. It breaks my heart and I had that I had to end it. We have to move on. But I just love this world too much to stretch things out until it doesn't live up to what I want it to be. I hope you understand. Not really. <laughs> anyway, I hope you, dear reader, know how much I appreciate the gift you've given me. I get to tell my story exactly how I wanted it to for 993 issues and end it on my terms with no interference at all along the way at any point. There's such a, that's such a rare thing, and it doesn't exist without under, unyielding support this series got from readers like you. Thank you so much. Um, we can, um, I think we could skip we the can thank skip yous. the thank yous. Yeah, he's just thanking you know Tony Moore, Sean Makowitz. Um, just uh, uh, there's a ton of people. Just a ton of people I mean, that were on his team. Skybound Entertainment. Just if I had to read this, yeah, there's probably at least a yeah. hundred, if not more. Yeah, it's um, a ton of stuff. But we'll, uh, we'll read the we'll read this end part. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. Um, but most of all, thank you, Charlie Adler, for sitting at the table day in, day out, and devoting more hours to The Walking Dead than anyone. I couldn't have asked for a better partner. It's been a dream come true to, to get to shape this world together with you. Never, This never would have happened without you. I can't believe we made it all the way to the end, my friend. Oh, my God. I can't believe it's really over. Robert Kirkman, P.S., Negan, Negan lives. lives. <laughs> <laughs> now, this end piece, very interesting. On the following pages, you can see Charlie Adler's line art for the covers of 194 to 196. They were used for solicitation so the book would continue to appear in the distributor catalog to hide the fact that the series was ending. As a gag, they kind of tell the story of Carl dying. That's not really anything that was intended to happen. I just thought it would be a fun thing to explore on the covers in a way that wouldn't reveal anything. It was a very difficult it was very difficult to do covers that didn't telegraph Rick's death or the time jump for the final issue. Interesting. Um, so let's look at these really So the, really so fast. this is meant to this is meant to chronicle Carl's death in these covers, which right. is really cool. Um, but in no way was it meant to actually happen. Like so, this, even if even if yeah. we were going to go to these issues, right. they were never going to kill off Carl. So you got Sheriff Kapoor cover He's so pointing the gun presumably right. at and that Carl. is Carl. That is Carl Grimes. <laughs> it's not Negan. Sword. It's not Lance. It's Carl. And there's Sophia and Andrea at his grave. Yep. And a vision probably of his father sitting on a pile of Walking Dead. That's awesome. Man, <clears throat> guys. Uh, if you guys watched this entire video, we truly appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it was a long video. Um, very long video. Smash the like button, um, not to just support us in the series, but smash the like button to Skybound, Image, Robert Kirkman, Charlie Adler, the team of The Walking Dead, the Walking Dead series in general. Smash the like button to show your love and how much you will miss this series. Yeah. Because we thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Um... I did. I, I loved every part of it. And, and the fact that it ends on an amazing story, because ladies and gentlemen, that issue was amazing. Everything about it was amazing. Man. The, 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 the futuristic feeling of the world that they're in now, um, Carl being with Sophia, uh, Lydia and him still being friends, um, you know, people growing older and seeing the change in, in, in them over the years. It was an amazing story, and I actually think that a lot more could be written off of that. Yeah. Um, that in itself just, you know, makes me want it even more. And maybe that's yeah. exactly what Kirkman was going for. Yeah. To end it on a Breaking Bad type feeling where the show just, you as a watcher think, gosh, I loved it so much, I want it back desperately. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what he's going for, but to be honest... In the end, um, I'll miss it. I think that it could have gone on forever. Um, and I don't think, maybe this is the fanboy in me talking, yeah. but I don't think it would have ever gotten to the point, for me at least, um, that it would have gotten old or played out or Not what he's me. saying. I don't know the term. I forgot the term that he said. Quilled. Yeah. Or no, no, no. That was yeah. uh, Atler's feelings were quilled. Um, but... I understand what he's saying. Like I get I, what he's saying. I, but I get why because there I mean, are hardcore fans of this yeah. series that would have never 
never dropped it. No, no. And then there were other fans of the series where, you know, it was just regurgitating stories. And maybe that was the case. But you could see just from this issue alone, there were a lot more stories. A lot more. I mean, we jumped... It didn't even have to have zombies in it anymore. Yeah, we jumped 10 years. So... 10? Well, maybe more than that. I think it was more than that. It's probably more than that, yeah, more than that, especially for how old Carl is. But, um, yeah, I mean, mean, even... We did a video not too long ago about how Robert Kirkman was talking about eventually the world is going to have less and less zombies in it so that's a cool story you know they're just like what they're doing they're in a safe zone they have many many areas not a lot of zombies around but you can still make stories off of that you still have to go out into that area to travel to maybe fetch more supplies if you need there there, there could have been so much more done with negan um, there's, I mean, yeah. there could have been so much more done with just the fact of them building the infrastructure of, of the, there could be stories about the, the, the Western Alliance that we're now hearing about. Yeah. Um, Going across the country. Yeah. Uh, that could be different series actually. Yeah. They could, I mean, and, and who knows, uh, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but maybe Kirkman picks it up in a couple of years and says, you know what, for the past two years on my own, I've been writing more stories and, and maybe it doesn't necessarily continue on from 193, but maybe takes other pieces from that story and right. and they put out mini series. Just little because, segues, yeah. Because to date, they've only done a couple of them. They've done the Survivor Guides. They've done Here's Negan. Um, I think that's it. That's about it. Yeah. 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 I mean, or and the Alien, yeah. which wasn't really that wasn't Kirkman. Yeah, yeah that, that was, wasn't Kirkman. So yeah. there's there's just a ton of story I think out there that that could have been. Um, could have been done. Could have been done. Yeah. yeah. And but hey, again, he got to write it on his own way. Um, I don't yeah. know if I necessarily trust that uh, because hmm. just all the signs, right? Yeah. Something doesn't feel right at all. And I'm not saying that it was Image or anyone because you're not going to cancel your flagship series. Like yeah. this is a money maker for you. When there, when the leaks were starting to come out, there were rumors that it was actually being canceled. No way. And I was like, I heard that. I was like, really? Sky Mountain Image are going to cancel I'm sorry, The but Walking you, but Dead? I'm sorry, but you are stupid if you believe that. <laughs> stupid. Because there are but, tons of series no. for other publishers like Marvel and DC that are pumping out comics that aren't necessarily money makers for them, but they're still putting them out. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's just, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to believe, I'm going to go with my, my gut and believe that, okay, once he got to the point to where he was going to be killing Rick Grimes, he was like, Oh crap. I I don't have any more story. I really don't have much more story after that. That would allow me to get to 300 or 250. Well, so you're going on a different tangent than what he said, right? He said that once he got to the fair, he realized, because he had all of it planned out. He had it all planned up, yeah. But once he got to the fair, he's like, oh, shit. I'm not going to make it to my magical 300 300, that I want to get to. But But what our theory is, because I think you're on the same line as me, is that... He got to 192, he killed off Rick Grimes, and then he realized, I don't really, I don't really want to end this, he doesn't so I'm going to try and push it out more, Yeah, but just didn't have it didn't work. quality stories exactly. there. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's, it's, that's, yeah. yeah it's, he, he wanted, look, kind of think of what I said at the beginning of the video, he wanted to end it on his own terms and not feel that dragging it out wouldn't live up to his expectations. Now, keep in mind, when we're and saying that he tried to expand, expand it out again... He, I think he, this was his ending. I truly believe this was his ending. This is exactly how he wanted to end the series. But there's a huge time jump there. So I think that he realized, you know, for the fans that this was probably going to be important and maybe tried to push it out again, Mm -hmm. but realized, you know what? I just, the story isn't there. Why don't I end it the way that I really do want to end it instead yeah. of trying to push it out again for a second time? Right. Yeah. But man, man. I mean, so one of a major comic reviews on the channel is this is the final one. But hey, we're not done here. We have many other comics and things. Oh, absolutely. Um, we'll still talk about The Walking Dead. We'll do some other videos um, after the fact to kind of go over the series in general. Maybe do videos talking about our favorite moments, our favorite covers. Um, so yeah, we're still going to do videos on the Walking Dead comics, so don't worry. About oh, absolutely, that. yeah. Stay tuned for our other content. We got plenty of other content. You know, Walking Dead show is still going strong. We might even possibly do a video of how does this impact the show itself. 
Um, AMC's already AMC's already talked about it. Spoiler alert! We'll do it. It won't. Yeah. It, it <laughs> um, won't but AMC's already meant, already yeah, commented on it. Yeah, so. but uh, <laughs> yeah, we got tons of other content, guys. Reactions, movie reviews, uh, Fear the Walking Dead as well. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Stuff. Stay tuned, guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're always received of uh, you know notifications when we pump out new content. Uh, follow us at Nakro Nation on Facebook and Twitter. Thank um, you so much for watching this very long yeah, video. We truly me. appreciate it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, I'm Josh. I'm Jarrell. We're Nakro Nation. We're out. We're out.